brothers and sisters. What's up, man? It's your brother G World. Underscore G World 7 underscore D. I'm on the track. I ran my eight, now I'm walking my two. Um, this is a beautiful thing to all the brothers and sisters when the guys start exercising. Um, this is a great time, you know, to get healthy. But um, straight up, if you're not used to being on the track, you want to start off walking, I think it'd be a good idea to just come out here and walk probably like one lap. Or don't start off doing possibly two. Start off doing possibly two. And then build yourself up for walking. Running, if you want to run, I think um, probably start off with just two laps and walk. And then slowly build yourself up. You know, you want to do the running bit. Yeah, that's a good way to stay healthy. Keep yourself in shape. And do that. And drink plenty of liquids. Drink uh, plenty of water. I know that I get my little protein drink after I exercise. You know, I need to. But I also need to cool down or. Because you're all warmed up if you finish your running or walking, you're exercising. Because I do more than just uh, running. I do a lot of uh, gate jumping and all that stuff. So I do some, like, a, what you call a military-style workout. But <clears throat> this workout is very beautiful, and it's rewarding. So I'm gonna let, I want all you who are interested in getting out here and working out, you know, um, First, you got to get your mind, your mental state of wanting to do it, of getting ready to do it. And then when you get out there, do your stretching before you walk or run. Then after you run and walk and all you finish your exercise, do some more stretching. You know, stretch before you do your stuff and stretch after. So that's what I advise you to do. Some people just stretch before. Some people don't even stretch. But some people just stretch before and they don't stretch after. You should do both. That's my advice for you to do that. Um, also, um, <clears throat> you know, um, don't, um, well, after I, what I eat, I generally eat like an oatmeal. Lots of times after I finish working out, I may eat some organic eggs, whatever, but I, I generally would eat oatmeal. Oatmeal is very beautiful. May have a little some orange juice, you know. That's my morning thing for my little breakfast, but it's a beautiful thing, you know, man. But that's a good thing to do after you work out. Um, I don't, I don't eat heavy. I don't eat before I come to work out. You know, that's another thing. I, there's, <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. You shouldn't eat before you come out here. And, uh, other people may give you some different advice. I'm giving you this advice. I don't think you should be eating <laughs> before coming out to work out because that'd be like a disaster. <laughs> but um. You know, just just come out of here. You know, I'm at a track where the you know where the football field is at, too. So not only you can run on the track, but you can also go on the football field. You know, you can do the 100 yards. You go back and forth. Probably, I think, if for beginners, try to do like go back and forth nonstop for two times, and then just build yourself up. You know, try to do it two times. Two times going back and forth, and then slowly build yourself up. Yeah, that that'd be good. That's a good workout. Um, if you can, now I do like about 40 sit-ups. Um, part of my routine. I would like to, if you want to do the sit-up thing, you probably start off with 10. Start off with 10, that's good. Doing 10, yeah, if you can't do 10, if you just do five, that's fine. Now, as long as you're just starting off. You, know, you just need a, a quick start off. So start off maybe with, um, but I'm just going to say start off with 10. 10 sit-ups, if, if you can do that. Then just slowly work yourself up. Don't try to rush in, try to do everything immediately. Because um, you're just going to end up burning yourself out. And also you're going to feel like you've, you've never accomplished your goal. You're going to have that defeatist type of mindset. You don't want that. You want to have that champion's mindset. So you got to take things slowly. All right, so do things in a... Um, well, in a snail's type pace, and a tortoise type pace, and then speed up to the hare, the rabbit pace. <laughs> but you, but it, it has to be, you have to start off slow though. Start off in small increments, and then work yourself up. 
And that's, you know, that's what I'll say for you. If you play basketball, that's fine. You know, if you, if you play a little flag football, that's fine. But I'm talking you want to get out here and run in the track, you know, just start off slow. Start off slow. Or even if you're out here and you feel you're tired, you need to take a break, you know, take your break. And then get back, you know. Doing that doesn't defeat the purpose of just saying that, hey, you're just getting out here, you're just getting started. You know, so, but don't try to take on too much at one time. Because that's, that's over, that'd be an overbearing on you, and you wouldn't want that. You know, so, so, um, yeah, being this track to me is a beautiful thing. You know, I love being on a track, and I love seeing, you know, who's on the track sometimes. But being in a track is a beautiful thing. Exercising is a beautiful thing. And um, I advise you, brothers and sisters, get back doing it. I'm going to give out some ex exercising tips on this channel because I think that we need to be more healthy. We need to stress physical fitness and awareness. You don't need to be, have no body as rocked. There's no, you just need to be someone in shape, all right? I'm not asking you to do that. <laughs> just make something, a goal that's good for you and do it for yourself, all right? I mean, you have a family, okay, do it for your children so you can be alive, be around for them, you know? But, but mainly, start off doing it for yourself because you want to do it. You have to love yourself first, all right? Because if you don't love yourself, who the hell is going to love you? <laughs> you know, so. <sighs> yeah, everybody can tell you this and that, but don't love yourself, man. <laughs> that's, uh, that's crazy. But it's beautiful being out here in the morning. Out here in the track. I'm doing my exercise and I'm doing my walk down now. I did my eight runs, like I said. I'm doing my two laps walking. Then I'm going to get on the football field, do some little running in there. Run up the stairs. Do the little weights, jump ropes, and then maybe jump the gate if it's not wet. You know. But um, it's a beautiful thing. You know. And I'm just, I want brothers and sisters to realize, take their health and take their health seriously. And don't just sit around, you know, and eating certain foods. I mean, you can eat certain things, but just eat in moderation. I just gave up myself eating candy, period. You know, straight up candy, candy. I gave that up. So, but, I'm not saying you have to do that, but, you know, um, you should, you know, there's certain food you should push away from, but if you, you know, you, you can eat certain things, but like I say, eat in moderation, but also exercise, man. Don't just stuff yourself up with you know, fatty foods, <laughs> eating out all the time, which I think you should prepare your own meals, meals more, you know. I don't, I'm not a person who eats out, I eat out rarely. So I don't, eat, I don't, don't dig eating out and all that, all that fat and you know, this food, man. No, I just I prepare my own foods most of the time. You know. But um, yeah, you need to. You also save money that way too. But you just need to <clears throat> just get the initiative to get out there and do what's best for you. But you have to have the mindset. And first of all, the first thing is the mental. Mental is that you want to take care of your body. You want to take care of that temple. Your mind, your body is your temple. You want to do all that. So that's the first step is the mental stage. The mental stage. And once you get over that mental hurdle, I mean, you wanting to get out there. And don't be fear, have fear of the track. Fear of working out. Or fear of getting tired and breathing. <laughs> you know, once you get over that mental state of saying that you can't do it, which you can do it, then you have to get out there to do it. So I'm just letting you guys know that, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> I love you. I want you to be the best that you can be, you yeah. know. Be the best you can be because I know that you are the best, all right? And um, just continue to um, do the right thing. Like I said, plenty, drink plenty of liquids, drink plenty of water, you know. Drink that water, <laughs> drink that water. Put down that little um, pop. Drink that water. All right, brothers and sisters, man. 
This is your brother G World. I do my little other exercise work routine. I can't hold the phone and do that, but <laughs> alright then. Peace and love and let's be healthy. Alright.